Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Teacher Masoka and today I'm going to be teaching you functions and how to find the inverse of a function. So if you want to learn that, tune in. equals to 4x plus 3, g of x equals to 5x minus 4, okay? And the one figure 1, we are supposed to find f of 2, f of 2, when x is equal to 2. So, where we see x, we are going to substitute with 2, okay? So, we are just going to have 4 times 2. You can see that x is equal to 2. So, 4 times 2 plus 3 this is 8 plus 3, which is equal to 11. From figure 2, we have a composite function. So we are supposed to find f of gx, right? So gx is supposed to be inside f. gx is supposed to be inside f. So when you see x in f, you substitute the whole of gx where you see x, right? So our x is here. We are just going to substitute the whole of gx here at x so we are going to have 4 and our x now is 5 x minus 4 plus 3 you can see that this was x this whole thing was x now it's 5 x minus 4 because it's f g of x okay now we're supposed to simplify we are going to remove brackets. So 4 times 5 is 20x. 4 times negative 4 is negative 60 plus 3. We collect like terms. So this is going to be 20x minus 13. Negative 16 plus 3 is negative 13. This is the answer for f g of x. So remember figure 3, we have g of f of negative 2 okay so where we see x in g of x we substitute the whole of f okay and where you see x in this one we use negative 2 okay so we are going to have g right g 5 and x we substitute g of negative 2 so we're going to have 4 our x is negative 2 plus 3 minus minus 4 right so if this is 5x minus 4 right 5x minus 4 where you see x we substitute 4x plus 3 and where you see x we substitute negative 2 so this is going to be 5 and then inside we have 4 times negative 2 which is negative 8 plus 3 which is negative 5 so this whole thing is negative 5 negative 5 minus 4 right so we have 5 times negative 5 is negative 25 minus 4 and negative 25 minus 4 is equals to negative 29 so our final answer is like this or you can have g of f of negative 2, we are still doing Roman figure 3 using a different method. Okay, so you are asked to find this, right? So it's possible that you can just find f of negative 2 first, right? Which is going to be 4 times negative 2 plus 3. This is negative 8 plus 3, which is equals to negative 5, right? After this, now g of negative 2g, we're going to take negative 5 here. We're going to substitute negative 5 here. Okay, so we're going to have 5 times negative 5 minus 4. This is negative 25 minus 4, and the answer is negative 29. Method 3, we have g of f of negative 2, right? So 
it's easier to find g of f of x first then subordinate it to later so we know that f of x is supposed to be inside g so we're going to have 5 and x is 4x plus 3 minus 4 right we simplify this this is going to be 20x plus 15 minus 4 we collect like terms we're going to have 20x plus 11 right now we're supposed to find g f of negative 2 so when we see x we substitute with negative 2 so we're going to have 20 times negative 2 plus 11 okay 20 times negative 2 is negative 40 plus 11 okay negative 40 plus 11 is negative 29 you can see that our answers are the same Remember the four, we are supposed to find the inverse of gx, okay? So we know that gx is 5x minus 4. We have gx equals to 5x minus 4. So we are supposed to find the inverse of this, okay? So the first step when you have something like this, just let your gx be y, okay? So you're going to have y equals to 5x minus 4. Right? After that, we are supposed to make x the subject. Okay? We want x to be alone. So, when we have something like this, we are going to take negative 4 the other side. And when we come to the side, it's going to be positive. So, we are going to have y plus 4 equals to 5x. Right? After that, we divide by 5 both sides divided by five both sides our x our x our x is going to be y plus four over five after this step you are not done you are not done when you see x you substitute g inverse of x so we're going to have the inverse of x is equals to this function is supposed to be in terms of x. Where you see y, you use x. x plus 4 over 5. Then you are done. B, we have h of x equals to 5x minus 1 over 3. This function is in terms of x. Okay? So we are supposed to find the inverse of h. Okay? So the first step, just let this be y. So we're going to have y is equals to 5 x minus 1 over 3. After this, we make x the subject of the formula. We multiply by 3 both sides. This cancel this. We're going to have 3y equals to 5x minus 1. Okay? After that, we are going to take this number the other side. Right? We want to make x the subject. So we're going to have 3y plus 1 equals to 5x. After that, we divide by 5 both sides and then our x our x is 3y plus 1 over 5 and we are asked to find the inverse where you see x you substitute with the inverse of y and where you see y is x so 3x plus 1 over 5 you are done this is how to find the inverse number two f of x is equals to x cubed and g of x equals to 2x minus 3 okay so the first thing we're supposed to find g of 4 g of 4 so when we see x in this equation we're going to substitute with 4 so we're going to have 2 times 4 minus 3 okay this is going to be 8 minus 3, which is equal to 5. So our g of 4 is 5. What about f2x? Where we see x in this, we just substitute 2x. Okay? So we're going to have 2x, 
to the power 3. Okay? Loss of indices, you know that this is 2 to the power 3 and x to the power 3, right? 2 to the power 3 is 8 and x to the power 3 is x to the power 3. Roman figure 3, we have f of gx equals to 125. Now we are supposed to find our x, right? If you substitute x and you get 125, what is that x? So we are supposed to find that x. You can see that this is a composite function. gx is supposed to be inside f of x, right? So we are going to have bracket gx is 2x minus 3 to the power 3 equals to 125, right? To the power 3 equals to 125, right? So when it's like this, we want to make x the subject or we want to find our x, okay? So we can see that this is to the power 3, this is 125. So we're going to take the cube root, right? We're going to take the cube root. So this is going to be 2x minus 3 equals to 5, right? We take 93 the other side, we're going to have 2x equals to 8 because it's 5 plus 3 is 8. It was negative. When it goes the other side, it becomes positive, right? We divide by 2 both sides and our x is equal to 4, right? Do not expand when you have this. Do not expand. Just take the cube root, right? If it's squared, just take the square root, okay, to remove the cube or to remove the square, the sign. Okay? So C, we're supposed to find the inverse of G. So, we have G. G is GX equals to 2X minus 3. We let GX be Y. Y equals to 2X minus 3. We make X the subject. We take negative 3 the other side. We're going to have Y plus 3 equals to 2X. We divide by 2 both sides. Then our x is equal to y plus 3 over 2. After this step, we're supposed to find the inverse of g. So when you see x, you substitute with the inverse of g. So the inverse of g is equal to where you see y is x because this function is in terms of x. So x plus 3 over 2. This is a function of x. Number 3, we have f of x equals to x plus 2 and g of x equals to 6x squared minus 4. So we are supposed to find the composite function of g of f of x, okay? So it means that f of x is inside g, okay? So at g, where we see x, we substitute with f of x. So we're going to have 6x plus 2 squared minus 4, okay? So, this is squared. We expand this. This is going to be 6x plus 2, x plus 2 minus 4. This is going to be 6x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 4. We remove the bracket. This is going to be 6x squared plus 24x plus 24 minus 4. Connect like terms, so we're going to have 6x squared plus 24 plus 20. B, we are supposed to find the inverse of f of g. The inverse of f of g. So let's find f of g first. So f g of x. Right, we substitute g of x inside f. So we're going to have 6x squared minus 4. This is this part plus 2. Okay, so 6x squared minus 2. Right, now we're supposed to find the inverse. We're supposed to find the inverse. So just let this be y. y equals to 6x squared minus 2. We're going to make x the subject. We take negative 2 
the other side you're going to have y plus 2 plus 2 6 x squared you divide by 6 both sides after you divide by 6 that's when you can take the square root okay so we're going to have x squared plus 2y plus 2 over 6 you take the square root both side then x is equal to square root of y plus 2 over 6 we're supposed to find the inverse so where this x you substitute with the inverse of f of x the inverse of f of g which is equals to this is x square root of x plus 2 all over 6 thank you for watching today's episode whereby we're dealing with composite function and we're finding the inverse of a function so don't forget to subscribe like and share and download the worksheet so that you can practice take care of yourself bye bye